Instagram is a great walking city. Delle donne, le viti più vecchie danno l'uva più dolce. What did he say? The older the vines, the sweeter the fruit. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Four acting legends are back together on the big screen. Best friends Diane Keaton, Jane Fonda, Mary Steenburgen, and Candice Bergen. They take their book club to Italy in book club the next chapter. But question is, is it any good? Let's ask the expert. Movie critic Gray Drake is here for the review. Welcome. Hello. Okay, this, let's talk about this. This looks so cute, actually. Yeah, this is just like a warm plate of pasta in your belly. <laughs> and you love it. Because in the last movie, our ladies were reading Fifty Shades of Grey. That's right. Got them all worked That's up. That's right. I remember, yeah. And in this movie, they just go to Italy. It's yeah, fine. Why not? That's a, like, who cares about books? <laughs> nice let's, scenery. Yeah, let's just go where the history is. And so Jane Fonda's character is getting married, and hijinks and hilarity ensue. And basically, like, they're just making some quasi dirty jokes. Why not? <laughs> taking it easy on everybody. It's a cute movie. It's sort of like a crochet blanket that your nana knitted you. Right. Like <laughs> a comforting, totally. a comforting sit on the couch at home and have some pasta. Kind this of movie was like better than Xanax for anxiety. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I meant quite a tease. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay. okay, let's talk about Jennifer Lopez. She plays an assassin and a mom That's in right. her new movie. Is it any good? Yes. The mother is good because Jennifer Lopez is always good no matter what. All right. She plays a woman who has gotten mixed up with the wrong people. Mm -hmm. She had to give her daughter up for adoption, but her daughter ends up in danger. And so she's not taking it. This harkens back to her enough days, if you remember that mm -hmm. badass mm -hmm. movie. And the thing that this movie's light on is script and characterization. Okay. But I mean, JLo's skin is so dewy. <laughs> That's all that she's counts. So nice to That's look all at. that yeah. counts, right? And she's such a great physical performer and she's doing everything she can. It's still good and it's streaming on Netflix, so you don't even have to pay extra money out of pocket. Yeah, I think anything Jennifer Lopez touches turns gold, so. Amen. Yeah, there you go. Okay, Grace, so Pete Davidson, we all love him. He has a new show. He does. Take a deep breath, everybody, <laughs> because Pete Davidson is in full effect. So he left Saturday Night Live, and he is making this show, which is not for everyone. Uh -oh. It's about okay. his real life. Uh oh. Uh, but everyone else in the show is an actor. So we've got like the great Edie Falco as his mom. We've got Joe Pesci as his grandfather. I've only seen the first couple of episodes. It is shocking, but I will tell you that I laughed out loud so, like my neighbors could hear uh -huh. across the street. So like proceed with caution. <laughs> okay. Make sure kids are nowhere near this, but Pete Davidson is funny and weird. So definitely like an R-rated equivalent. It really is. Like this is putting his talent and strengths on full display and I just couldn't be happier to see Joe Pesci. There's gonna be great cameos throughout this whole right. season. It's really worth watching as long as you can stand the absurdity. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's quite a tease too. Yeah, there, thank to you, say. thank you. There you go, only the best for y'all. All I have to say is if it shocks you, Gray, it's gonna be spicy. I was thinking know the it. same yeah. thing. <laughs> I kind of feel the same way. I was thinking the same thing and it's, I was confused about this when I saw you know the promos for it because I couldn't understand the genre like is it reality is it scripted is it his life is it based on his life yeah. I was confused well I don't think you're the only one I think that that's sort of the challenge that the the show has yeah. except mm -hmm. that if you like Pete Davidson you're watching it that's mm. what they're counting that's on. so true yeah yeah and so I think what's interesting is that we've gone the entire gamut today mm -hmm. where we've got book club which is so <laughs> safe and sweet right. and then we've got bupkis <laughs> on peacock <laughs> which is anything but bupkis <laughs> well, that's what we like a little something for everyone exactly you know? yes there you Depending go on your mood we love our moms there's something for all of them this weekend <laughs> that's right except maybe the pete davidson you might not want to watch that one with your i don't mom. know you don't know my mom girl <laughs> okay <laughs> thank you good to have you